The Fermenti Real Estate team is proud to present 2635 Spindrift Circle in Hayward, California. You'll notice uh, the neighborhood shots here from both sides. I'll show you. It's a neighborhood uh, new subdivision built in 2004, uh, well-kept manicured lawns, uh, very uh, nice neighborhood uh, and a quiet street uh, if you've got kids. You notice the landscape front yard as we walk up the tall front door. Uh, the home has been built with very high ceilings and large rooms. The builder really uh, utilized the square footage on this home very well. It's 2,402 square feet, a three bedroom, two bath. You'll notice we walk into the living room here, uh, the high ceilings, the recessed lighting, lots of windows, a very light and bright open floor plan. So you've got a living room, dining room combo here. And I'll have to put the stats up on the screen so that you'll be able to see uh, the uh, uh, stats for the house. Three bedroom plus the loft. So it actually is utilized, you can do so as a four bed, uh, bedroom, two bath. Uh, it's on a 6,295 square foot lot. But as we head here into the kitchen, uh, notice the uh, Corian countertops, uh, state of the art kitchen. Uh, got the uh, island there in the middle. Uh, very functional uh, for. Uh, watching the kids as they're doing homework and cooking dinner or entertaining. Got a nice built-in microwave. Uh, so uh, also notice in the background there a gas range. Uh, as we look off to the left, we've got the eat-in kitchen area and then the family room. Again, notice all of the windows and the high ceilings. Uh, the, the, again, the builder did a very good job of utilizing the space, and uh, it actually uh, feels a lot larger than the 2,400 square, two square feet that it is. Uh, that back door there leads to a backyard, which really you couldn't get on film, and um, unfortunately the owner had left the door locked, so we won't be able to show you that today. But you see you've got a built-in there uh, where you can put in your uh, TV fireplace there in the corner, uh, but a very bright, open family room. And the nice thing, one of the things I really love about this house is that they separated uh, the master bedroom. Uh, it's actually at the back of the house, separate from all of the other bedrooms. So we'll kind of go in here so you can get a look. Again, all of the bedrooms in this house are a good size. You don't have any small bedrooms. Got a nice uh, built-in uh, cabinets there. Uh, again, easily could fit a nice California king size bed or Eastern king size bed in this room. Uh, again, you can see the dual pane windows throughout provide a lot of light. As we walk back here, you'll notice the uh, closet. I've got a nice large walk-in closet right next to our uh, master bath. So this master suite really is complete with this uh, master bath, the sunken tub, uh, dual vanities, and then over here to the left is the water closet. So uh, let's head up towards the front of the house. So yeah, the front bedrooms, we'll, we'll walk back out here uh, through the kitchen, again, through the eated kitchen here, uh, and uh, down the hallway. Uh, again, I like the way that they've separated the master bedroom uh, from the other two bedrooms. Whether you've got kids or guests, uh, it is nice to have that separate space. As we walk into the hallway here, you'll notice the first thing uh, is the two bedrooms and the bathroom, and then on the left side, uh, we've got a laundry area, and that leads to the garage, uh, two-car garage. Uh, but it's nice to have an indoor laundry room. Uh, again, notice the size of the beds, uh, uh, large windows, a lot of light, uh, good space utilization here. Um, both bedrooms, as you can see, are good size. Uh, and although this shot doesn't show it real well, they do have uh, good size closets as well. And then to the right here, you've got your secondary uh, bathroom coming up. Uh, this is your guest bathroom here with a stall tub and shower and, and vanity as well. Uh, so my favorite part of the house though is coming up next. Uh, I think uh, it's kind of unique. This is actually a single story home, but it does have some stairs that you may have noticed when we walked in. They actually lead to a loft area. Uh, so we're going to head up here and take a look. Uh, this is great because you can utilize this as a fourth bedroom. Uh, they're using it currently as an office. You could use this as a guest bedroom, a playroom for the kids. Uh, it's got the, the vaulted ceilings and a little separate space. But this is great because a three-bedroom, two-bath home that can be utilized as a four-bedroom. Uh, four so uh, if you'd like more information about this home, call the number on the screen. Uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this tour of 2635 Spindrift Circle in Hayward. Thank you.